I'm going to be using my two big tools, scissors and bell, because this is, in 1973, I came to New York, and Mama was my first artistic home. And even then, Ellen Stewart, who founded the mall, was talking about the growth, the refitting of the real estate, and now it has happened. It's a dream come true. Not only has La Mama lasted forever, La Mama is now independent, owns the real estate, and continues to grow. So today we're going to cut the ribbon to show the capital program that's funding all of this. And they've invited me to come home, and I'm happy to come home and be part of this magnificent revolution, evolution. Hi. Uh, I had a lobby to make this next introduction <laughs> because the person I'm going to introduce to you is somebody who's actually approaching legitimate and realistic legendary status. <laughs> that, of course, is our wonderful, wonderful La Mama baby, as we call him, Andre de Shields. <laughs> tell you a little a little story when I was planning this um, on, how many of you were lucky enough to see Andre in the recent Broadway revival of Death of the Sales okay. you know the story is about Willie Loman a guy who's down and out can't make a living his family's falling apart but poor Willie has a successful older brother Ben and you hear Ben talking in his subconscious and saying things to Willie. And one of the things he says, Willie, when I was 18, I went into the jungle. And when I came out, I was 21 with my pockets filled with diamonds. He was an explorer or something, I guess. <laughs> well, finally, Ben makes his entrance and he comes out on stage at Mr. DeShields in a white suit covered in diamonds and sequins and everybody stood back and sat up and said, what's going on? I was sure they were going to be doing a new version of Diamonds Are a Man's Best Friend. That didn't get to happen, but I think someday it just might inside this building. <laughs> right, right, right. But you know, Frank, whenever I come on stage, people go, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, world! I say good morning to the world because Ellen Stewart is the mother of world theater. And Ellen, your children are here. They have turned out this morning because finally the La Mama real estate represents your vision. It is built on the past, but it's looking toward the future. When I came to New York in 1973, because someone said to me, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Yeah. Ellen Stewart said to me, baby, let mama help you. What do you want to be? I said, I want to be an actor. Ellen Stewart said, forget it, baby. La Mama will make you an icon. As Ellen Stewart has done with other icons, like Bette Midler, 
like Harvey Feinstein, like Julie Taymor, like Tom O'Horgan. The list goes on, but those are the ones you are most fami familiar with, I think. La Mama is gone, but La Mama is still here. Yeah. She lives in Italy now, <laughs> where I had the opportunity to visit her. She loves us all. You know that. And it's for us to continue that love, to make sure that there is a seat for everybody at the La Mama table. Okay? I'm not going to say any more than that because I have waited all these many years to do this. The first time I came to La Mama and she started every ritual by ringing the bell, I thought one day I'm gonna ring that bell. That day has come. Take this mic away from me.